All right, so I think I said in the last one, I didn't fully understand the scales and I don't completely understand it, but I do understand that there are quite a bit of scales available and I can show you probably the three, if you're gonna use this feature, scales that you'd probably be in the most out of all of them. Um, I'm gonna personally stay in chromatic, so I'll show you that too. But here's, how, and I'll show you how to read it. So this is the drum category. This is more for the instruments. They play a little bit different, supposedly. You'll have to read the website, support.birdkids.io. Read into it, watch some videos. I'm gonna switch over to this one. This is a different preset, right? And it has nothing to do with this right now. I'm just showing you on this. Okay, these are your octaves. I said that before. So we are in the keyboard preset mode. And you'll look here. This is basically C to C, right? So this is picking your note that you want the key to be in. If you're going to use this as a tool to play that type of uh, piano or Rhodes or whatever you're going to use it for. All right, so we're, I'm going to leave... I'm going to put it in D um, and I'll show you how it's easier just to be able to, to um, see what notes it's going to be in. So we're going to put in D for right now. You press this button, it comes up. Mine comes up right now with the chromatic. All these are lit. This green button here, you know, it's weird because the blue looks green and the green looks blue. This left button here <laughs> is actually just to go backwards. So if you hit it, it'll go backwards. This one goes forward to cycle through the presets. So here's chromatic. If I hit it, I mind you, I'm holding this button here, the shifter button. I think that's what they call it, shifter two. This first one that pops up here is major. So we are in D. And just to show you how I just know that, or not how I just know that, but I'm going to pull up tonality. I'm going to move this camera just a little bit in view for you to... Sorry about my hand getting all in the picture. That's awkward. And again, sorry about that light that I don't have any control over. And we're going to select the key of D. This is D major. So you'll look, this first note is D, right? And you'll see how here it skips a semitone and it, so there's skip. And then there's your next note, which is going to be E. And it skips one, skips one, C. And this is F sharp. Then you got G, skip G sharp, and then you have A, skip A sharp, and then you have B, skip C, and then you have C sharp, and then the next oct the next one would be a D, right? It would be right here. So that's the scale you would be in, and that's how you found it. So this is B minor, and then after minor is, I mean major, I'm sorry, and then after major is minor. And if you go on their website, you can look at the scales and they tell you they're in toggle order. So you can look at all the ones they have. I'm not going to name them all off. Um, there's quite a few there. I want to say there's probably, if I'm guessing, about 20 different scales. But again, most people are going to live in chromatic, major, minor. If you even use them. I'm probably going to leave mine in chromatic most of the time. Unless I find another cool use for that. All right, let me get rid of tonality and put the camera back over here where you can see where I'm at. Sorry about that. It's it's not going well here. You'll never hire me as a cameraman, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm going to let go of that. Now, what you have to remember, if you're going to go drum, if you got your um, koala, which is right here in front of me, by the way, you want to make sure that you change this mode back over to drums. Because if you play in the keyboard for some awful reason, it's playing notes, it'll throw all these notes off and it'll be like where your drum would be right here where you programmed it. It'll be up here or something just because you changed the key. So you wanna, you this is gonna be crucial, learning what your four drums are here, your instruments, and so on and so forth. You'll have to, again, read that on their bird, support bird.birdkids.io. All right, so then we're back here. And then just show you this real quick. Push it up a scale. So 
for it, because it only pushes 12 notes, which I think I really hope they fix that. These last notes are the keys from the previous one, the last one. And when you look at it, if you think about it, it works from the way I programmed it is from the bottom up. Because if I'm on the phone, I'm going to do this real quick just to show you. If I'm on the phone, this iPad is going to look like that, right? So I wanted it to map. Let me see if I can come up a little more. I wanted it to map this. So, right? And then, and then if I go up a page, I know it's going to leave this last one here, right here. So that note starts there. Now, technically, that note should be down here based on the way I mapped it. But I put it up here just, I don't even know why I did that, to be honest with you, but I did. Um, but I can always just go in here and MIDI map it and fix it. But I just wanted you to see it. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have to map the way I would have to do that. Touch here, there. Okay, now it removed it from here. Stop mapping and then go into samples and just move that sample down and get rid of it there. So now it should be, uh, yeah. Cause I like my mappings to go across this way, right? Go up just the same way you run the scale up like that. It's the same thing. And even if I change it, it doesn't matter where it's at, right? It just, that's where it's sitting. So you have to figure out your workflow with this. This is definitely unique in its own way. I think there may be some more updates on the way at some point that will help this to be more fluid with the way other items work. I won't name names, but or comparisons, but you know what I'm saying. Other controllers have their little vibe and I think there's a unique way they work. And so you just have to kind of get used to it. Anywho, that's enough for this video. It's already been seven minutes. I was planning on making it shorter. So yeah, if you decide to go and get you one or order you one, I should say, because you can't just go get one. Do it. The company did great on sending it out fast. It was, like I said, I think in the last one, I think it was a week and a half or so. And uh, it's not super expensive. So that's cool too. All right. Enjoy.